Hi everybody! Today I'll show you the attachments you can add to your tickets using STA Ticket System. The first one that I'll show you is the short dump. Quite often end users forget to attach the short dump to an error report and also forget to tell the required information for the developer to find it using ST22. I'll produce now a short dump using a simple program. So I'll go to SC38 and execute this report which produce a short dump by performing a division by zero. So I press this long text button to include all information in the ticket which I can create using the system menu STA add-ons create modified ticket. I quickly enter a short subject and leave all the other fields empty. I press complete and because we have configured SAP Office to send our tickets, here is the generated message. As you can see, the short dump is attached here. It's in a compressed format to save space in your mailbox. So if you double click on it, then you uh, get to the archive. But if you double click inside the HTML file, then you can see the whole short dump. This can be really helpful for the developer who will work on this incident. Let's go back to the message for a second. You have complete control over the file names of the attachments. You can provide your own function module in customizing that will be used to generate the file names. We deliver a default implementation and that's what you can see now in action. Okay, let me show you the next two attachment types. I'm logged in with a different user in this window and this user does not have certain authorizations. So let's start transaction VA05. And when this user wants to select some records from the database, he gets an error message that there are no entries. However, I know that there are some entries for this selection, so I create a ticket. Now, Ticket System asks for the permission to take a screenshot. You can control if you want this pop-up to appear in your user parameters. This user has set it to allow this functionality. I allow the program to take a screenshot so it can be attached to the ticket. I add some text here again and check this checkbox. When developers or basis administrators suspect that possibly missing authorization causes a problem, they ask for the output of transaction SU53 which displays the last authorization check. This can be automatically attached to the ticket. I leave everything else empty now and press complete. Because I've ticked the checkbox, transaction SU53 is displayed. Now it's perfectly clear why this user uh, receives that error message because he does not have authorization to display sales documents with type ZGT1. I have to press this text view button in order to have correct format in my attachment and now I leave the transaction. The generated SAP Office message is displayed just like before. Now we have two attachments here. One is the screenshot here it is. And the second one is the output of SU53. Pretty nice, right? These provide a lot of information to the people who work on this incident. Finally, I'll show you how you can attach a shortcut to a ticket. So I'll go back to the window with the previous user and here I execute transaction VA03. I select a sales order and let's suppose that this requested delivery date is incorrect so I create a ticket. I add a subject quickly and let's check this checkbox to include the shortcut to the program. I press complete and here it is. 
if I double click on it, then after logging on, it launches the relevant program in the relevant system and client displaying the problematic sales order. Developers won't have to ask which system is it, which client is it, what is the sales order number, which transaction was problematic and so on. They can simply double click on the shortcut you attach to the ticket and that's it. They can start debugging. Okay, these are the types of attachments that you can include in the tickets generated with STA ticket system. A very important thing to note is that all attachments can be sent to external systems too. There's a video on YouTube that demonstrates how to integrate Zendesk and STA ticket system. Watch it and see how easy it is to connect the two systems. Zendesk supports attachments, so all these attachments I showed you can be transferred along with the incident. So, this is the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed it. Please share it if you have a few minutes. And don't miss the other videos on our YouTube channel or on our website, sda-technologies.com. Thanks for watching and have a nice day.